Hi everyone, welcome to Boxing Block Center, the home of Nigerian African boxing. And please, if you're new to this channel, make sure you click the like and of course the subscribe right now. And also go to the notification bell icon, click it and select all. Yes, sir, to wrap in your banger and you exclusively will definitely be notified. Prestissimo. That is as quickly as possible. I want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of you that support the channel. Those of you in your different viewer zones, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Now, let's get to it right here. The WBC Siva Everett Champion. F.A. the Silent Roller, formerly known as the one and only, has declared that he wants all smoke. They are ready for any top dogs right now, according to him and his trainer, K. Koroma. You know what? The Nigerian in me is happy for Ajagba. Ajagba's journey so far how Chalifiko helped him, you know, sponsor him from Nigeria, from from Nigeria, and then, you know, took him to America. Him and the other guy, I don't want to mention the guy's name. Everybody knows him. I told the other guy, I said, listen, it, PPC did a lot for Ajagba, though, you know, but I knew the, I didn't see the, any future for Ajagba on, uh, uh, on the, on PPC. I didn't see that. That was why at the point I began to question what is their motive? Why are they not giving a job publicity? Why are they not marketing him? Because this is the face of African boxing. A job, whether you like it or not, is the face of African boxing. And right now, in the whole of Africa, in the whole of Africa, I repeat, in the whole of Africa, Ajagba is ranked number one, numero uno. And he's fought, a be he's had a better, he's fought more, he's fought more better fighters. He has a better resume than any other African fighter right now. By African fighter, I mean a fighter that holds an African passport. Ajabba is Nigerian. So he's number one in Nigeria. If we should look at the ranking though, I don't know why some people are above Ajabba here. Okay. Usik is number one. Yeah. Joshua two. Fury three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know that. However, I don't know why Derek is always above Ajabba. Franz Sanchez, I can understand because he beat Ajabba. Jerry Miller, I don't know why he's above a job, but this guy failed drug test twice and he just lost recently. So I don't get it. Uh, Mati Bakole, yes, ranked either Jabba, but Jabba has a better resume than this guy. Let's keep it right here. Mati Bakole is very good though, very solid, but he doesn't fight a lot because you know, I don't know, maybe. Um, see, ever since he left, he left Matroom and ever since the incident, something happened. Him and Joshua used to be very close. And at some point, he, even, he was even signed to 258MGT, signed to Joshua Management Company. And at some point, everything just, like, basically, they released him or something. After he posted a uh, child pornography. And now he's saying, oh, he's, now he, all of a sudden he's an enemy of, uh, of uh, of of uh, Anthony Joshua, life sometimes is crazy, man. Sometimes you help people, they turn their back on you. That's why human beings, you have to be very careful the way you help them. That's right. But okay, Ajagba has been with Top Rank for a while now. Okay, I think his first fight with Top Rank was against Jonathan Rice, if I'm not mistaken. Um, his last fight with PBC must have been with Razvan Kojono. Or was it with Top Rank? I don't know. But I know Yago Kilasi fight was with PBC. Definitely. Because I, I watched that live. 
The Razzback Continuing Fire, I didn't get to watch it live because I was working that day. You know? So the one I can remember, Junta Rice. So he's been with PB uh, with uh, Top Round since Junta Rice fight, 2020. Could be. I don't know. Or Ralvan Kojono one. I need to ch I need to cross check. Anyways, yeah. So the memorable one is Junta Rice and uh, Brad Howard and Fran Sanchez and the Damos. I want to see Ajagba Aj is 30 years old right now. He's the best african boxer best nigerian boxer on on planet earth right now i know you say joshua joshua is dual nationality joshua holds a british a british and nigerian passport he's nigerian definitely but he represents britain that's two different things okay, joshua is nigerian definitely like a jaguar or the difference is Ajaba represent Nigeria and Joshua represent Britain, which is not bad because Joshua was born in Britain. So it's just one of those things that happen. But I'm not really happy with with the fact that Ajaba is not getting uh is not active enough. I would say he's not getting the big big fights. Now Turkey Lashik recently met with uh Jared Anderson, the the uh, I think is uh, is uh, him and him and are trained by the same trainer, right? Kekoroma, I think so. Yeah, both of the, yeah the same team. So Turkey Lashik is 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 trying to match um Jer Anderson against Deontay Wilder. I think that is the wrong move. Anderson is not ready for Wilder. His last fight. Ajakba saved that card. Let's keep it right here. Ajakba Vianello was was literally the the real deal. That was the main fight. Um, your Anderson fight against I don't even remember the guy's name anymore. But it's on Benjamin. That guy didn't come to fight. He came to they basically put a, it was a snooze fest. Basically, it was nothing exciting, and Anderson couldn't take him out of there. So I don't think even though. Deontay Wilder might not be the same Wilder a few years ago, but he still got that power. And Anderson, the way I saw him struggle with um, Charles Martin, of you don't want to. I don't think he wants he wants the Wilder smoke yet because if Wilder lands, Anderson would do a chicken dance. So maybe they are doing the passing of the torch of thing. Could be that. But Ajaba wants all smoke now. I would love Ajaba to fight Anderson. But I think they're in the same team managed by K, uh, G Prince. Same uh, manage, management team. So I don't think that will happen. They're like basically brothers. But I would say they should. it should happen. Because Andrews Jr. and Jared Miller are the same thing. They are not signed to the same promotional company or anything like that. But they are literally like brothers. To the point where Jeremy Miller, who is a very, who talks a lot of shit, um, who is a, like he talks a lot. Basically, he he always shit talk a lot, but he didn't. He would, he wasn't able to do that. You know, at the press conference with Andrew Junior, he, he, he wasn't able to do that. He just said, "This is my brother. I've known him for years. We've been through a lot. We also go fishing and stuff like that." I can't like basically this guy. You know when you are when you when you spend a lot of time with somebody and you don't expect to fight that person, and the fight happens, you don't know what to say. Shaco Stevenson, no doubt, could be the future of American heavyweight boxing, but how long will it last? You know that's the problem. Jerry Anderson has a lot of skills; he's very skillful, you know, but I'm still paying though by the the win over our brother eBay. He's sleepy, man. I'm still pain because he's sleepy. I, I like I like his sleepy style. You know, it's good for boxing, but I understand that he got into boxing very late, so it's a little bit different. So Ajakba is ready for all smoke. And I think Turkey Alashik, his excellency, should get in touch with Ajakba. I think his management, Jay Prince, no doubt is a legend. I want to see Ajakba in the faces of people more. I want to see him in great fight, not just great fight, but in the faces of people. 
the name of Jaguar should be a house. Listen, when you have a, a star like a Jaguar, a potential star like this, and you know there are Nigerians in Houston, Nigerian communities in Houston, they're Nigerians worldwide, Nigerians support their own. But a Jaguar needs to be needs a strategic, a strategic marketing. This is why I said, okay, it's a top rank, no doubt, is a good promotional company. But Bob Haram doesn't talk Ajagba up. He doesn't. I don't see the the the. I don't see the focus on Ajagba. I just see if they using Ajagba as just okay, one of our fighters on our roasters. If Ajagba were to be where he is, for example, right now, Eddie here would be the one talking the talk for Ajagba. You'll be seeing Eddie here plaster Ajagba in your face everywhere and putting me in a big fight, top rank did that once against Fran Sanchez and after that they just let Ajabba you know of course you need a warm up sometimes but a guy like Ajabba does better against elite heavyweights than against uh people he physically can beat or people yeah we have a easy time with so he's 30 now bro I know everyone's carry power um till their forties or something like that. However, many Ajaba in the next in the next ten years, Ajaba has to be become a, a world champion. He's WBC silver champion now, no doubt. But he needs to become a world champion, the second world uh, everywhere champion that Nigeria would would, uh, would would produce because uh Samapita was a world champion. We need Ajaba on our faces this this has to do with collaboration this is why i always advocated for out of for Jaguar to leave uh, pbc i was one of those people i don't regret it i am happy that he did and that is with top rank however trying to crack the american market as a nigerian everywhere is even ek abuchi was able to do that because ek abuchi was okay he's a different fighter to a Jaguar. Um, um, I Ike Abuchi would have been our second heavyweight um, our champ in history. So, but we know what happened, you know, life and American lifestyle and uh, women. That's why I like the fact that Jagba is ma is married and with, and with one woman and they're building a family. Because if Jagba was still single, you know, when you become a little bit um not famous but when you become when you are at the po position all those uh, uh all those girls in america would like to be on your dsc DIC, um dsck you know what i mean but Jabba just was was very yeah I, he's, this is the 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 the, the, the typical Nigerian man who you know settles down and you know and have one wife and build uh, uh, and cares about his family I just hope everything continues to go this way because his girlfriend is is a very nice. Uh, and, well, I think they're married now. His wife, yeah, they're married now, right? I don't know. I think that yeah, his wife or girlfriend, or fiance, is very supportive of him. You know, guiding him through stuff. Life in America is not is not is not easy in America. Life in America is not easy. Especially when you're Nigerian, you know, to when you want to transition into a different culture, is totally different there. And Ajakba's skill set has improved, you know, his speech, you know, Ajakba was used to be very shy, but now he speaks a bit, he speaks, he speaks more. But Ajakba needs a mouth, a mouthpiece. Mm, yeah, man. So, top rank, you have the connection. You are now working with Tokyo Alashik. Get Ajagba in big fight. He wants it. Any top dog, Ajagba will go for it. Ajagba does better when he fights top dogs than when he fights people that doesn't really are not that are not on his level. Because you know when you fight somebody you you feel you're not you're, you're he's not on your level, you would think, okay, yeah, you train for it as hard as as, as hard as you can, but you wouldn't really feel the need to you really respect them if you just say okay this is an easy word 
when you're in there with somebody that you know brings the eat you'll be ready as well that's a, that what i'm according to what i've examined so far for jackba is that kind of fighter that want to be on big fights ajakba's name should be in every nigerian lips we need to see him in big fight because he is the future of nigerian boxing if we should look at nigerian um nigerian heavyweight rankings right now now ajakba is number one rafa Bajur is number two so look Bajur, uh, lost ah uh, damn man uh, Bajur is coming back it's coming back Solomon, Adebayo, Latif Kaode. I know Latif Kaode though. Latif Kaode, like that, this guy don't take for, you don't tell. Um, Chibuke Ogbuago. That's a African Fury, right? Chibuke Ogbuago is African Fury. Um, yeah, I think I spoke to him before already. African Fury, yeah, I think. I think I spoke to him before. I think he's 8 and 0 now. Yeah, eight and zero now, and he and he and he says fighting uh, 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 this month May. Um, these are the Nigerian. I don't she the Inoma. Okay, she the Inoma. Bro, bro, I don't know all this. <clears throat> oh, but what I go talk? You say, man, yeah. But now only a Jagba, Rafa Pajore, uh, Chibuke, uh, Wagu, that's African Fury. Now the three go save us, oh, as, uh, we like saying, now this three go save us more. Another one of is already, is already past it. Uh, what it means, you can tell, the age and stuff like that, he's normal. And he was not active as well. This is what I'm talking about. He was not active. You know, when you're not active enough like that, man, I support our Nigerian fighters. But as it be so, man, now Jaguar, Akbajori, and African Fury. Now we look up to now, Gregorius, because all these guys, all these guys, and a lot of them are, you know, this one don't lose. One loss, one loss. Uh, Sam Samson Kazim. Oh, but this one a grandpa. Ah, a grandpa. This one's Bill. Apart from Marafa Kujiri, yeah. Uh, -huh. uh so my the bio me I see. And the bio, thirteen wins, twelve knockouts. A grandpa, a grandpa guy. A grandpa. Um, yeah, like I said, Ajakba, Akbajuri, and African Fury. No, no, we do for this every division. But Ajakba, like, I, 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 I see, I, I want Ajakba to become on, uh, to become a champion. He's a WBC BC silver, silver, um, heavyweight champion, though. But I mean, the main belt. You know, I think he can do it. Anyway, guys. Like if you should subscribe. Ajakba is not a shell fighter. He needs to be active against a top dog. Ajakba wants to smoke. And Turkey Lashiki says at least he can make it happen. Top rank should put Ajakba's face out there. You cannot have a potential like that with over 200 million Nigerians. Bro, out there to support him. They need to see him in, in big fights. And you need to see his face out there. Ajakba shouldn't just think of America. He had to think of, a glo of the global Nigerian um, community. You know, the other guy, I don't want to mention the name. Who he told us, so this me, I said, I don't talk about that again. You don't hear about that one anymore. I don't fit now. PBC, I say lose PBC through young. Now, so he be. What are you doing now? Thank God for Ajakba though. That he took my advice then. God bless him. Uh, God bless his uh, fiance, wife, mother of his uh, kids. And uh, God bless every one of you guys watching as well. Thank you for my right here. Forever. I